Food connects us all. It provides us with the nourishment and energy we need to live our lives. Ideally, our food should supply us with the spectrum of macro and micronutrients we require in order to function at an optimal level. Avoiding processed foods and focusing on whole foods is a good place to start. But not all carrots are created equal. The quality of our food starts with the soil it is grown in. It's not just the carrot that can impact our health, but the entire system that supports its growth. How is human health connected to soil health? Healthy soil is required for nutritious food production. Soil with balanced microbial diversity and proper chemistry yields quality crops. Soil deficient in key elements such as iron, iodine, zinc, and selenium can lead to serious deficiencies. Soil contaminated with residues of toxic heavy metals such as lead, mercury, and cadmium threatens human health. Airborne soil, or dust, can have either pathogenic or health-promoting effects. When we breathe in any environment, be it a farm, a jungle, or a city, we alter our internal microbial environment. The way we tend our land can either degrade or restore our soil. Industrial agriculture relies on heavy machinery that compacts the soil, destroying its structure and killing beneficial organisms in the soil food web. The use of synthetic chemical pesticides and herbicides pollute the soil, water, and air. A different approach to farming, known as regenerative agriculture, focuses on renewing soil health and supporting a diverse soil microbiome. Regenerative agriculture is an ecological approach to farming that enables landscapes to renew themselves. It's about working with nature instead of against her. One handful of healthy soil contains more microorganisms than there are people living on Earth. We need to make soil health a global priority. If we do, the results will be strong yields of nutrient-dense food, clean air and water, increased ecosystem services, and health for people, plants, and animals.